I don't like the pre-made Sims 4 holidays, so I've got a whole empty calendar here. I'm really excited to go through it. I'm starting with summer because I feel like most of us start with summer in the game anyway. So obviously the Sims week runs from Sunday to Saturday. For me, it runs from Monday to Sunday, but whatever, I can deal with it. Now, as a disclaimer, normally I do use holiday mods, but today I'm getting rid of all of my holiday mods to show you what I do vanilla. If you're curious what mods I use, firstly, they're all by Little Miss Sam, by the way. The first one is the more holiday icons, just so you can customize your holidays a bit more. The next one is the school holiday holiday tradition. When you set a Sims 4 holiday, you can set it as day off work and school, but this mod makes it so you can only have a school day off whilst the adults still go to work. And then we have her random holiday traditions mod, which as you can see, just adds a few more random different kinds of holiday traditions. But as I said, today is very much base game friendly. So obviously a Sims 4 month is equivalent to a real life week. So what I would normally like to do if I could is give your Sims like a whole week off in summer as a school holiday, because I just feel like in real life we have summer holidays off school. So it makes sense for your Sims to have them too. But obviously we can't do it for the whole week because Sims time is a lot more compressed. So I normally like to do it Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Now I literally just call this school holidays. I usually use this icon because it's just like kids, no decoration theme and no traditions. It's simply just a day off work and school. As I said, with a mod, I'd make it so you could have the specific traditions. So it's only school, but this is base game only. So I'll do that for Wednesday. And then for Thursday, I literally just repeat the exact same thing. Now, the next one I like to do for Friday and Saturday of summer, it depends if you own outdoor retreat or not. So if you own outdoor retreat, I like to call it camping trip. I like to use this icon here and I use have a barbecue. I use have a fire, go on vacation or travel. I also like to do streaking just to make it a little bit more fun. And I also like to do tell stories because that's what you would do camping. Now, if you do not own outdoor retreat, I would honestly just get rid of go on vacation or travel. I don't know what you would call it, sub summer holiday. I don't know. But if you did it without the travel one on there, you could just make your Sims do it in your back garden, like literally just having a barbecue in your, sorry, your backyard or the Americans start screaming at me, your yard. And you can have your Sims have a fire and a barbecue. You could even make them like sleep in the garden in a tent if you own the little campus kit or something. You could even add water fun if you just wanted to make it like a summery day. That's if you don't own outdoor retreat, but I feel like outdoor retreat is under you. So that's why I like to make it a camping trip. Now, obviously a camping trip is overnight. So on the Saturday as well, I also like to make it the camping trip the same one. This includes mostly the same traditions, but we don't have to tell stories because I feel like you tell stories on the evening of the Friday night because it's like an evening thing to do. I also feel like the fire is an evening thing to do. So for this one, we just have a barbecue again. And I also like to add streaking. Now you could add water fun as well. The only thing is you can't swim in the lake in the outdoor retreat world, which is just so strange stupid. This is why I don't add it, but you can if you want to. I just like to kind of make this a small extension to the camping trip holiday. Now in autumn, I like to keep this one relatively holiday free. In the UK, we don't have Thanksgiving, so I'm not having a Thanksgiving thing, but you can if you want to. But on the Saturday, I normally like to add a tradition, which is Halloween. I don't make it a day off work or school. Obviously, we make it spooky and you can add a customized spooky icon. Now I like to do decorating with this one. I like to do spooky spirit, obviously. Wear costumes, trick or treating. Unfortunately, your Sims don't actually go trick or treating, but trick or treaters will come to your house. So I normally like to make it like a Halloween party and that's why I add party spirit. So Sims could come to your house or you can just do it with your family and have a little party whilst trick or treat is come. You're wearing costumes and spooky spirit can involve things like playing spooky music or carving pumpkins if you're in the spooky stuff pack and obviously we've got decorating. I just feel like it's a fun little day. But autumn, I actually like to just literally keep completely empty because I just don't want it cluttered. Now, winter is the fun one. Something about the base game Winterfest day that makes just no sense to me is like the holiday involves putting up decorations on Christmas day or Winterfest day, which doesn't make any sense because in Christmas in real life, you would do it at the start of the month. You wouldn't do it near the end of the month near 
Christmas Day, it makes no sense. So on the first day of winter, you could call it something like Christmas Spirit Day or something like that, Winter Spirit Day, I don't know. This one involves Winterfest decorations and it literally just involves decorating and cleaning. So it's just like getting ready for Christmas. I also like to add festive spirit. So just like getting excited for Christmas and then you just leave it as that, those three for the holiday for the first day. Now, obviously a Sims month is only a, actually a week and we've also got to fit New Year's in here. So I normally like to add, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this holiday is not a day off work or school, the Christmas spirit one, in my personal opinion. Uh, but for Christmas Eve, I like to put this on Thursday. Now for Christmas Eve, I add Father Winter because it makes no sense in Winterfest Day in The Sims 4 that he comes on Christmas Day because in real life, Father Christmas, I mean, Santa, Santa would not come on the midnight of Christmas Day. He comes on midnight of Christmas Eve. That's why I add him on Christmas Eve here. I also have Festive Spirit and that's literally it because we've already done decorating and other things for the start of the holiday. So if we just add Father Winter and Festive Spirit here, that's fine for me. And of course, I like to make this one not a day off work or school because I feel like in real life, most people, well, in the UK, we normally have a day off on Christmas Eve, but it's not a granted, like it's not guaranteed. So I normally like to make it not a day off. Now, something that I like to do on Christmas Eve is go to Midnight Mass, which is a religious, it's a Christian celebration. I don't know if you do it in other countries, but in the UK at midnight, we go to church. So I like to add attend holiday celebration. It's a rabbit hole. You just go there by clicking on your phone. Obviously you don't have to do it. I know not everybody's religious. I'm not really that religious. It's fine for me. It's just like a fun Christmassy thing to do. So I like to make my Sims do it. And then obviously we have Christmas Day next, which is the most fun day. So I include drinking in this one, a day off Winterfest theme. I like to add festive spirit again, opening presents. And we also have gift presents and a grand meal. I feel like this is what Christmas should be for me anyway. So that's how I like to do Christmas Day. And then obviously the next day has to be New Year's. New Year's Eve is what I just like to call it. Now you could do a decoration theme called New Year's Eve. I personally don't. And that's because I just feel like in real life, you would just leave your Christmas decorations up. You wouldn't take your Christmas decorations down and add New Year's Eve decorations. It literally doesn't make any sense. So I just like to have no decoration theme set. Obviously we have countdown to midnight. We have drinking, making a resolution and party spirit, which I think is a fun thing to do in New Year's Eve. Some people like to have a grand meal. I don't, I just don't feel like there's a need to, but you can if you want to. And obviously that's the day I've worked in school. So when it comes to spring, the first one I like to do is New Year's Day. This is a day off. I'm never really sure what icon I can use. It's really hard not being able to use my icons mod because normally I'd use a custom one. Maybe we could do this one because it's like fun. I don't know. Anyway, this one involves cleaning firstly because it's like cleaning up after Christmas. I also have exercise because I just feel like it's a New Year's resolution thing to exercise. Everybody has a New Year's resolution to get fit. So I just like to put it on there. I think it's a lot more realistic. And on New Year's Day, I also like to add spring decorations. So it's like you're getting ready for Easter. Another thing that we have in spring is Easter. Now in the UK, Easter is normally on a Sunday, although Sunday is taken up unfortunately by New Year's Day. So I normally like to do Easter on the Saturday because if you think about it, like Easter is actually not a default holiday in The Sims 4, which is really surprising for me because we have the flower bunny thing, which is literally so fun. So obviously I like to do the egg hunt and adding flower bunny who comes to your lot. I think honestly, like so many people must miss it because it's not like a default tradition. And I know a lot of people don't make their own custom holiday traditions. Like I can't believe how many people are just like not experiencing this gameplay, but I only actually add these two traditions to Easter. I like to keep it quite simple. Now, obviously we got to have Valentine's Day. I normally do this on the Tuesday here. I don't like to use a decoration theme. I just feel like decorating for Valentine's Day is a little bit dramatic. So obviously we have go on a date, romantic spirit. See with a mod, I would add a woohoo tradition, but obviously we can't have mods, but I would have added it if I could. This one is definitely not a day off work or school. You could add watch romantic TV. I don't because I feel like that's not a really Valentine's Day kind of thing to do. Like, I wouldn't like to spend my Valentine's Day doing that. So I just have it as they go on a date in the evening and they get romantic. Although even though I don't add watch romantic TV, you can also give flowers 
colors, which I think is quite nice. These are all the core holidays that I have. I actually don't like to have too many because I feel like it just gets a little bit annoying if there's too many in the game. And as I said before, I delete all of the pre-made ones because I just really do not like them at all. Something that sometimes I like to do, other times I don't. It depends on how I'm feeling. You can only do this one if you own City Living. I normally like to do it on the Thursday here in autumn. In the UK, we have something called Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes, it's often called as well, where we basically just watch fireworks. In other countries, people do this in summer. It entirely depends on the way that you play. I personally don't really do it that often, so it's up to you, but I literally just have fireworks or you could also have a fire too. I wouldn't have both because if you have both, if you watch fireworks, but you don't have a bonfire, then the sim will get unhappy because they haven't completed the tradition, which is so stupid. But I normally just have one fireworks. But if you don't own the city living pack, you could also just literally have the fire one, which is just about like having bonfire night. Like it's just a British thing. But if you want to have a fireworks night in the game, then I think it would be really fun. But again, this is one that I don't normally do. It's only like sometimes. Also something that I never ever do, but I feel like a lot of people would enjoy. This is just an idea because I personally don't do it. You could have a remembrance day. I normally don't do this because once my once the sim has died, like I don't care about them, they're gone. <laughs> but you could have a remembrance day, which literally just involves remembrance. I feel like I've spelt it wrong in the holiday name. Oopsie. I also like to maybe add thankful spirit if I do it, but I don't really like normally do this one to be honest, but it's just an option there if you really want to do it. You could also do attend a holiday ceremony if you go to like a ceremony somewhere else just as an idea for you but I normally don't really do this one. Obviously there's a literally a ton more that depend on different people's cultures. A lot of people like to add sim dependence day as a version of independence day. I don't really know how this works because it's an American thing. I don't understand it but I guess on a sim dependence day you could have a barbecue, you could have fireworks, you could have party spirit, you could have water fun assuming you're making it in the summer, you could have drinking, like there's a lot of different things. I personally never ever do this but you can if you want to. I like to keep my calendar not too cluttered because I feel like it's important to enjoy other things in the game other than like just seasonal holidays but if you only own seasons and no other packs like feel free to make it chock a block full of different holidays because it'll make your game a lot more fun. But these are the core ones that I have. Summer holidays, we have the camping trip, we've got Halloween, the Christmas spirit day, Christmas Eve, Christmas day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day and then Easter. These are ones that I just like to have. If you guys have any ideas for other ones, please share them in the comments so other people can have a look and see what they're all about and give other people inspiration. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.